let's support quality, performance, and outcomes and pay accordingly based on managing our sickest seniors. As a pioneer in the development of new models of coordinated team-based health care, quality control, and payment capitation, Robert Margolis has been on the front lines of health care reform for nearly 40 years. The imperative in the American health care system is the cost is unsustainable. It's certainly eroding the ability to invest in education and infrastructure and all of the other things that make America go. Margolis has shown that coordinated care and capitation gives physicians a strong incentive to work on prevention and avoidance of unnecessary procedures. Patient satisfaction goes up, the duplication of services is reduced, the need for hospitalization is significantly reduced. Margolis grew a small physician-owned practice in inner city Los Angeles in the mid-1970s into one of the largest coordinated care medical groups in the country by 2014 when it was sold. In 2015, Margolis and his wife Lisa made a transformative $16.5 million gift to Duke to launch a major new health policy center to be a driving force for national health care reform. The Duke Robert J. Margolis MD Center for Health Policy has offices at Duke and in Washington, D.C. It is being led by Mark McClellan, one of the nation's top leaders in health policy and reform. The center involves more than a half dozen Duke schools and units, including the schools of medicine, nursing and law, the Fuqua School of Business and the Sanford School of Public Policy working together to help implement health care policy changes at the national level. The greatest hope is that it actually has an impact and it also puts Duke on the map as the go-to place for health policy uh, research that can be put into action. Margolis came to Duke for medical school in 1968 and stayed for an internship and residency. He was heavily influenced by Department of Medicine Chair Eugene Stead. And Gene drove us nuts to get that knock on the door at three in the morning that work rounds were starting and get your ass out of bed after you barely got to bed at 1 a.m. That's Gene Stead. But, he says, a Duke medical education and training is famous for good reason. Duke did an incredible job of maturing people from being cocky college kids into true professionals. After Duke, Margolis completed a fellowship at the National Cancer Institute, helping to shed light on solid tumors in lung cancer. He then went to UCLA for research on ocular cancer. But instead of pursuing a career in oncology, Margolis took a gamble on himself and several physician friends who in 1975 established California Primary Care Physicians a physician-owned, managed care practice in the basement of an inner-city hospital in Los Angeles that served the elderly and poor. Their mission was clear. Understanding the needs of a population of patients, being able to focus on prevention and wellness, at least be able to delay chronic illness. In 1992, the group merged with several other practices to become Healthcare Partners, the nation's largest physician-owned medical group. Margolis served as managing partner and CEO from 1992 to 2014 when it was sold. He said his decision to give back to Duke with the transformational $16.5 million gift was an easy one. Because of my love for the institution, it seemed like the right place to establish that. He and Lisa live outside of Los Angeles. They have three children and six grandchildren. The couple loves to travel and in September got up close, but not too personal, with polar bears in northern Canada. Where Margolis is deeply personal is with his relationship with Duke. I feel especially proud and blessed and happy that we're able to play a part in hopefully making Duke even a better place than it is today.